Give me a set of 26 seats. What's happening? Living like it in the light. It's getting supposed to be that colour. What's that in that this morning? Hold on a tick. What is it? 26 is no good. Get me 85. 85, oh damn near. Kill me, trust me. His DNA's mutated. We need at least that amount to jump ahead of the mutation. Otherwise, we're just taking the human element of this physiology. 85, please! Professor, calm down, we're trying to help you. Hold him down! Are you alright? Yeah, thanks. Ah. How about you? Well, I. I don't really know. Exactly. <laughs> Look around you. Look long and hard. Are there any answers here? Or out there. Is there anything, anywhere, at any point that can answer that? Of course not. It's all about choice, you see, or need lack of. Every second of every day, from conception to extinction, we, you, make choices. And every choice, no matter how insignificant, then presents another choice and another, and another, affecting one another to a larger scale that will develop continuously. In short, life is nothing more than a continuous choice. All right, come on, Archie. Let's try that again. Pe, pe, pe. You try it. Archie has childhood apraxia of speech. He has trouble speaking because he hasn't naturally learned the motor skills to make the sounds. Like that. Three big ones. Pa. Pa. One more. Pa. But he there can be taught great. them. You can't surgically remove it. There is only one way to stop it getting out. How do we do that? Kill the host. If this one gets away from me, Doctor, it will, within minutes, go into one of those warriors. You have to stop it, Doctor. You cannot negotiate with these things. They are of pure instinct. There has to be another way. There isn't. I beg of you, please, Doctor. Kill me. Make it.